Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kayla here, or welcome if you are new on my channel. I do a lot of home decor content, DIY videos, clean with me's, and a few day in my life sprinkled in between. So if you are new, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 150,000 subbies. And for all my returning subbies, thank you guys so much for rocking with me. In today's video, I'm bringing you guys like a jam packed, get it all done. Just a really highly motivating video. Like we'll be cleaning together, we'll be cooking together, decorating together, and also organizing. So whether you're just watching this to get your motivation or you are moving right along with me, I hope you guys really enjoy it. So now that the dishes are all done and I threw them all into the dishwasher, y'all know I'm a dishwasher girl. I'm just gonna begin cleaning my sink out a little bit more. I love for it to be sparkly and shiny. So I'm using a mixture of the Dawn Power Wash and then like going down the drain cause it smelled a little funny to me. I used some baking soda and some vinegar. Y'all let me know what y'all put down the drain to make it smell super duper fresh. I personally don't have like a garbage disposal or anything. And I've been seeing those little blue tablets I guess you pour down there and it looks super cute but I don't have a garbage disposal so I can't use anything like that and this method actually worked out really really good I just sprayed some vinegar up in there and it took the smell that I was smelling right away I'm also using a magic eraser and I swear by these they get my sink looking so good and not only my sink but the bathtub countertops in my bathroom they really work their magic so I wanted to switch up the decor a little bit in here or the organization tools. So I found this new sponge holder at Marshall's and I love the black color. It accents the sink faucet and all the other like black accents I have going on in my kitchen perfectly because that plastic one, it just, it just needed to go. It ran its course. Um, if you guys are new here, I renovated this kitchen along with my fiance about a year ago so we are literally i went back and watched the footage a year ago at this time we were just finishing up the kitchen like last may so it's crazy that a whole year later here i am still functioning in this space and everything nothing has fallen apart like marcus cut out this sink countertop and installed the sink himself like everything is going so perfectly and i could not be happier about our decision decision to diy the whole kitchen but yeah Anyways, now that the sink is all clean, I'm gonna go ahead and begin cleaning off the counters. I see you at my door, wanting in, come back for more, but I don't want this anymore. Cause baby, we got issues, yeah. I'm not gonna make them dictate my life. So baby, if you got issues.
precious to me so you just have to do without here's something you can think about you play me good there's no doubt but you're the one that's missing out because baby we got issues yeah okay so now we are on the other side of my kitchen and i'm just beginning over here by cleaning off my oven and my stove area i really like for the stainless steel like to just sparkle and shine and have zero fingerprints or zero crumbs or just food left over so i'm getting that super nice and fresh and once we're done with this we're gonna move on to like decorating and styling the countertops a little bit more on this side i bought a couple of new organizational pieces and also a really cute wood bowl that i thought was absolutely gorgeous you guys will see it in just a second but it has like little leaf prints on and little flower prints so i thought that was super perfect for spring and summer that is coming up And now it's time to paint the door. You guys, this door has gone through quite a lot. It started off being sage, and then it turned to like a really pretty rust color for fall. And then for Christmas, I painted it this pink color, and it's lasted since Christmas because I used it for Valentine's Day and then a part of my spring decor. And now I was finally ready for it to go back to its original color, which is the sage. Um, this bear paint I'm using is in the color Cottage Hill. It is the most gorgeous color. And when I started painting this, I was like, why did I ever switch? Like, why did I ever do another color? This color is just so classy, so timeless. And I see it staying for a long time. But y'all know me. Like, I like to paint things and switch it up real quick. So I can't promise that I won't paint the door again during the fall time we will all just have to see but of course you know i am loving this color but babe, how could i know So now that the door is drying, I'm beginning to work on this other side of my kitchen where I have like our open shelving, our dry pantry goods, microwave, all that good stuff. And over here, I just wanted to freshen it up a little bit and also decorate the shelves because they had gone bare for quite a while. If you guys watched like my previous videos during fall and Christmas time, I took away like all my everyday decor. So I'm finally just getting around to styling the kitchen the way that it was a year ago <laughs> and i love it when it looks this way it's just so classy so neutral but i also enjoy seasonal decor too um but yeah y'all let me know down in the comments what you think of how i styled these shelves and what you think of the new door color or should i say the old door color down in the comments below <laughs>
So Bath and Body Works was having like it's $12.95 candle sale recently. So I picked up quite a few candles. Um, this is the Honeysuckle and Peach Spritch, which smells so, so good. I have Tiki Beach, which is one of my favorites, Rosewater and Ivy. Like a lot of these scents just bring back like those nostalgic memories for me for whatever reason. You guys let me know down in the comments what your favorite Bath & Body candle scent is. I would love to know and possibly check it out. Or if you see one here that you wanna try, let me know down in the comments about that too. Or also, if you don't get your candles from Bath & Body Works, you get them from somewhere else, let me know that as well because I have a whole candle collection and all my candles are from so many different places. I just love candles, period. So um, now that I unpackaged all of those, cause I did a pickup order in store, so I didn't really get to look at them. I just grabbed my bag and left. <laughs> I decided which one I wanted to leave out on my countertop, which was the honeysuckle and peach sprit, something like that. I didn't quite like the label or the design that was on the candle. So I went ahead and just peeled that off. So it would look super neutral and pretty to match with the rest of my kitchen decor. So now it's time to organize all my fresh fruits and veggies so I can put them away in the fridge. I'm using this fruit and veggie wash that I got from Thrive Market and y'all, this stuff is the truth. It says that it's supposed to make your veggies and fruits last five times longer than they would normally. And so far, that statement is totally true. My strawberries have never ever lasted this long or my grapes and I'm just so impressed with it because I feel like I actually have time to like finish my fruit and finish my vegetables and that usually never happens before something ends up going bad. So I'm using these little containers and if you watch my organizing video, I will have it linked down below, but I literally use my Cricut to personalize all of these little trays that I keep my fruit and veggies in and they are so helpful and they make you like want to eat the fruit. It's just so easy, like a little grab and go system that I have in my refrigerator. And you guys will see that here just in a second. So I'm putting all my fruit in them and then I'll do the same thing for my veggies. Shout out to Ritual for sponsoring today's video. I've shared a lot with you all about how one of my biggest goals this year is to make my health a priority. Spiritual health, mental health, physical health, all that. I've been taking Ritual multivitamins for months and I absolutely love them. They've recently created their newest product called Symbiotic Plus, which is a daily three-in-one prebiotic, probiotic, and postbiotic supplement. If you aren't sure what all of that is, don't worry, I didn't either at first, but now I see all the health benefits. Prebiotics support growth of beneficial bacteria in the gut. 
Probiotics relieve bloating, gas, and postbiotic fuels the cells and supports your gut health. I personally love the minty taste these supplements have and they are made of a clean formula that's vegan friendly with no GMOs or artificial colors. Symbiotic Plus and Ritual are here to celebrate, not hide your insides. There's no more shame in your gut game. That's why Ritual is offering you all 20% of your first month using my code KAYLAG20. That's 20% off your first month by going to ritual.com slash KAYLAG20 and using my code KAYLAG20 at checkout. Thank you again, Ritual, for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to cleaning. We have a little bit more organizing to do and then we will be making our way out of the kitchen. So I bought these two new oil jars <laughs> at Marshall's recently because my last two, the little nozzles, like when you turned them upside down, the nozzle would fall out, the oil would fall out. Y'all, it was a mess. So I got some different ones because I really like the look of these and we use them quite often. And now we don't have to hold down on the nozzle to be able to pour out the oil. So that's so much better. I filled up one with olive oil and then this one, I'm filling it up with vegetable oil. Once this is done, I'm gonna place them in their spots and I'll begin filling up my jar with pancake mix. Y'all, I hit the jackpot. I found the best, I'm not sure if it's the healthiest now, but it is the best pancake mix ever by Jiffy. It is so good. I buy it at Food Depot, but I'm sure they sell it other places too. And I'll try to link it down below, like if I find it on Amazon or something for you guys, because I'm about to start buying this stuff in bulk. We always run out of this pancake mix super duper quickly. And it is so good, y'all. When I say so good, I mean so good. And it's the one where you just need to add water, maybe a little cinnamon. You don't need to add any vanilla, any nutmeg. Like, it's perfect. I love it. So once I fill that up, <laughs> I am going to begin working on my waters. We keep them down here in this cabinet in these really cute baskets that we got from the container store. I love the way this looks and we buy our water from Sam's at bulk. So for reference, if you're interested in these two little baskets, you can fit 48 bottles of water in both of them. So the last thing that we're gonna tackle in this kitchen for right now is just sweeping and vacuuming. A lot of dirt gets trapped under that jute rug over there, but I got all that up and now we are in the dining room. Y'all see my hutch? It is not styled, it is not cute. So we're gonna get it looking really, really pretty today. Like I'm super excited with how it turned out. Like bringing my hutch back to its everyday look, the everyday decor, it just looks so classy. Everything looks so classy to me. So on the dining room table, as you guys saw, I had a whole bunch of greenery and decor and plants that I want to use in this space. So that's why that table is just filled with stuff. And after I wipe everything down, we're going to begin organizing my hutch because it was just kind of a mess. I had stuff everywhere. And a lot of the stuff on the dining room table will actually end up going back into the hutch because that's where I keep a lot of my decor pieces. Oh. 
You guys, please be sure to let me know down in the comments what you think of this hutch and how it turned out. I feel like it's so, so cute. So what I'm doing now, y'all, I'm not feeling this ladder basket. I've had it here for two years now and I finally felt like it was time to get rid of it. It was just like too much, you know? Like you, you see something in your space sometime, you're like, I really don't need that. And then I've been wanting to get rid of it for a while. So this was finally like the perfect time because I honestly hadn't even been styling it the way that it should be. And it just needed to go. So I think I might place that piece out on the patio, which is going to be our next video, you guys. I'm so excited to share with y'all the patio. Ooh, it's gonna be so good. So make sure you have your post notifications on, on, on. Like I said, in the hudge, I needed to organize it a little bit, so I'm taking a couple things out, putting a couple things in, and just making it the drawers and like all the cabinets here a lot more functional. So the cabinet I was just working in, that's where all my bar supplies are going. Down here is where a lot of the decor and jars and glass pieces are going. And then I have the two other little drawers for placemats and napkins and things like that. So. I guess you could say this is all my, like my decor and entertaining pieces like all live within the hutch. If you've been following me for a while, you know that like one of my big or future goals is to get a round table to go right here. That way, like it'll just flow better coming from the kitchen, going out to the sunroom, to the patio. I feel like a round table and then a beautiful round rug underneath will just make this space shine. So I am on the lookout for it and hopefully I can find it soon. Hopefully we can also get the floors done soon. But Marcus and I, we came to a compromise. We are going to wait on the floors until after the wedding. I wanted to get it done before. Um, so basically for the floors we want to just lighten them up a bit so we'd have to sand them down to like their original color get all that stain out of there and just give them like a really nice and light finish and I hope you guys see that that'll really go well with our home because right now the floors they're pretty but they're more of like on the orangey side of brown and that's not quite what we're going for you see that cake stand up there that's the color floor we are going for, like that really pretty natural tone. So we will get it done eventually, but I was I was hoping we'd get it done before the wedding, but compromising and prioritizing. I also went ahead and decided to move that stuff that was in that corner just to make the space look a bit more open. And I just put all that stuff out there in the sunroom. And now I'm beginning to work on Marshy's area. If you're new here, Marshmallow is my puppy. She's a Bichon and she is about nine, no. Yeah, she's about nine months old at this point. 
This girl is getting so big and we can't wait to celebrate her in August. That's when her birthday is and so we'll have a little party for her. But now that she is getting older, I wanted to graduate her out of like a lot of her puppy things. I mean, she still is a puppy, but I wanted to give her a few little big girl things because she's getting big and I feel like she's ready for it. So I bought this cute little, new little, <laughs> feeding bowl and like water system and I love the wood tones that like are on here it goes perfectly with our home honestly y'all she was like low-key scared of this so I kind of had to like warm her up to it and even at this point she's still not completely used to it like she's used to her blue ball and her and her green um water ball so <laughs> it's gonna it might be a little bit of a struggle but I'm still working with her to get her used to it. And this is like all of Marshmallow's stuff, which I'm going to move into the bathroom and organize her stuff up in there. Like now that her crate is gone from this space, there's really no need to keep like all this stuff over there in this corner. So we're freeing up a lot more space, which is really great. And you'll see her come over here and like start sniffing around in a second. Here she go. She's like, what's going on? Like, where's all my stuff? What's happening? But she's definitely gonna get used to it soon. <laughs> Another little upgrade that I did for Marsh was buying this little basket for her. We had been keeping all her toys in that little puppy bed that I had got for Five Below. So we are also, we're not throwing it away because that's the bed she's had since she was a baby. So it's super special to us. But we did upgrade her bed and put all her toys in a basket instead. And she's, she's completely comfortable with her new bed and the new toy basket. So that is definitely a win. And it just looks a whole lot better over there by that mirror and the fireplace and stuff. So now I'm tidying up the living room. And y'all can see it's looking, it's looking a mess. You know, sometimes we get home and y'all, it, it's, it's just a lot sometimes when we get home. So sometimes, you know, this area... It gets pretty messy so I moved a lot of our clothes back into the bedroom and I tidied up the pillows a little bit love those sage pillows to match with the door I have everything linked down below but if you want to see like where we put this whole living room together I have a living room makeover that we did mm, I want to say a year and a half ago but I also want to do a new living room makeover but again that's something we're gonna have to wait on Marcus and I talked about it compromising and prioritizing what has to be done so we're waiting on that for sure and y'all you can see like what the hutch looks like from this area and even like a little peek into the kitchen and I feel like this whole little area is flowing so well and I'm finishing off with vacuuming you guys see me keep looking up because I'm actually watching the circle on Netflix while I'm filming this and it was getting so good <laughs> If you guys watch that show too, comment down below and let me know who you want to win the circle. All right guys, so now it's time for us to cook together, which is not something that we do often on my channel. Y'all, I do not be cooking as much as I feel like I should be because we need to be saving some money for this wedding, but sometimes it's just so easier to go outside and get food. <sighs> but I'm trying to change my ways. I'm trying to change my ways. Tonight I am making shrimp fried rice and you guys see all the ingredients laid out. You need some shrimp, you need jasmine rice. Whether you use a seasoning packet or you make your own seasoning is fine. You also need some vegetables, whatever veggies you'd like to go in your fried rice. And I think that's just about it. It's a super quick and easy meal. So I'm boiling my water. I love jasmine rice, it's my favorite. If you don't know how to make it, you have to put your water in the pot, let that come to a boil, and then you pour in your rice. And um, once you pour in your rice while the water is boiling, you have to quickly stir it in, turn it down on low, and then cover it. And then after that, like 
it's super duper easy so i'm seasoning my shrimp i'm not doing too much because i'm using that seasoning packet and just trying to be like aware of the salt that i'm using and once that's all done i'm gonna begin chopping up an onion because that's really gonna give us that flavor that we're looking for i'm just gonna cook those until they get translucent and i'm also using those um ugh, i forget what they're called right now at this moment i can't remember what they're called right now but you know those little stringy crispy thingies that are in the fried rice i'm using some of those too so i'm steaming up my veggies cutting my onion and then that's pretty much it. The shrimp was low key already done. As you can see, it was cooked already. And I just had to heat that up at the very end. I waited to throw that in so it wouldn't get like rubbery and hard because I hate when shrimp tastes like that and when it's like overcooked. So I put that in last. My water is boiling. Everything's going really good. You guys, let me know down below in the comments what are some like quick and easy meals your girl can make. Something similar to like this. I feel like this is very quick and easy. I only needed two pots to cook this meal. I feel like no more than two pots and it's an easy meal. So let me know down in the comments some suggestions. I also have a crock pot too, which I love. And I would love to hear from you guys on what y'all make for a quick and easy meal. And if you think it'll be quick and easy for me too, comment it down below. I know you guys see me sampling. I taste as I go to make sure the flavors are on point. I know some of y'all do it too. So if I'm not alone, comment down below. And I'm just adding the shrimp. I added the veggies. I put a little soy sauce up in there, not too much. And we are done. Okay, guys. guys. So I want to end out today's video by opening up some P.O. box packages from all of you guys. Thank you so much for everyone who sends stuff to my P.O. box. Okay guys, so here is our first package. Let's go ahead and open this baby up. I'm gonna just do it this way. Oh, there's some cute stuffing in here. And this is from BB Marie Nails. Ooh. 
Okay, girl, you about to get me right. You about to get me right. Young lady business. Hi Kayla, my name is Alexis and I am the owner of BB Marie Nails. We are a black owned business that sells DIY nail extension kits. I love your Christmas nails and your DIY mentality. I thought you'd enjoy this simple gel nail kit. Please let me know what you think. BB Marie Nails, XOXO. P.S. I know you like pink, so here's a pink scrunchie just for you. Ah, and I'm like totally rocking scrunchies all the time now. So thank you so much and I cannot wait to see these nails. This is the pink scrunchie. Oh my God, this is so cute because I literally have one in a very similar color and like material, but it's just a little bit darker. So thank you so much, it's so cute. Okay, so we have in here, um, this looks like a lot of the tips maybe. And then we have the, a mini LED lamp okay yes and okay that's it so I guess with these tips that she sent me I can paint them myself because they look clear so I have some glue and different size nails and all in the clear color so oh my gosh i'm gonna have a lot of fun with these i always wanted to know how to like do nails so i can save some money so this is marshmallow no baby so this is definitely the time for me to try thank you all right y'all here is the next package let's see cut this one and back marsh. There we go. Ooh, and I love the back of this special delivery from Velvet Quarters. So cute. Okay, let's see what's inside. Okay, so we have a card here. Oh, for the bride to be. Wishing you all the happiness your heart and hands can hold, period. Hey, Kayla. Or no, it just says, Kayla, congratulations on your engagement. The big day is almost here, and I am so excited for you. I pray that it's everything you've dreamed of and so much more. Peace and blessings to you both. Velvet quarters. Oh, my gosh, your handwriting is so pretty. Okay, I am super excited. Let me, before I start looking at this stuff, y'all, here is her information um right here on the back customer care at velvetquarters.com velvet quarters lingerie boutique i don't see an instagram but it's probably velvet quarters so let's see what we got we have black one size what are these some lingerie lingerie Oh, how sweet. We have some little underwears. So cute. Look at the back. There's nothing there. Okay. Oh, and this says Mrs. Girl, this is so sweet. Stop. I feel like this is my bridal shower right now. Oh, that's another pair of underwear, you guys. And it says Mrs. And it has a thong back. These are so, so cute. And Marcus's favorite color is blue. Fun fact. And then a little, a little thing to go, wait, upside down. <laughs> a little garter to go on my leg. This is so pretty. Thank you so much. I love it. I love, love, love it. It's so cute. So wait, do I wear all of these? I don't wear all these together, girl, do I? No. I don't think so. Okay. Now, what's in here? Oh, something pink and pretty. Oh, oh. Wait, I'm holding it upside down. Oh my goodness, y'all. Look how cute this is. It's so pretty. And I love like the little bows. It makes it so whimsical and girly. 
so stinking cute so i'm guessing this goes with this underwear yeah and then it also came with stockings oh that's so gorgeous i cannot wait to try this on thank you so much two stockings like tiny socks so cute thank you very very much okay y'all here is the next package we already opened it up a little bit because marcus saw i had sent something to myself mistakenly to the p.o box but it's from a subby and the note says enjoy your gift thought you all could use this each time i saw your videos when you were outside on your bathroom sink oh best regards from connie williams and connie we so need this this is so cute and we are literally gonna be installing this any day now so you guys this is if i can get it out it is a water hose hoser which is so nice like check it out and it, i love that it's black so it's gonna match the house perfectly and then, um yeah it's just so so cute thank you so much i can't wait to like actually install this it's gonna be adorable okay y'all here is our next package let's go ahead and open it up It's nice to see you again. How beautiful. Oh my goodness. Did you send this to me for fall time? This is so sweet. You guys, I do not see a note. So I don't know where or who sent this. But this is so cute. Y'all look at the details. So, so pretty. There's no note. The only thing that flew out was the shipping thing oh my gosh this was shipped on september 30th that's so weird because i don't know oh my gosh so cute thank you so much i'm definitely gonna be rocking that have it in the house during fall time this year okay here is our next package from Carolyn Shields. Let's see. Oh, we have a picture of what looks like some earrings. Oh, this is so pretty for like lip glosses or lipsticks and stuff. Hi, Kayla. I have been watching your videos for a while now and I look forward to Sundays with the next new video. I want to take the time to say congratulations to you and Marcus on your upcoming wedding. I would not call myself a business owner now, but I have been making some items that I wish to sell at my local flea market until I'm able to get my own website. Girl, you are a business owner. You're doing it. I wanted to know if you would be so kind to give my information to your subscribers. Of course, my email address is carolTNCC. That's carolTNCC at Yahoo for anyone who is interested in any items you have. And I also included some uh, pictures. Oh, the pictures of other items that she has in stock. Carolyn slash mom on a mission. You go, mom. So y'all, here are some pictures of the other items that she made. So cute. I am obsessed with this. Like, I love the colors in it. It's so cute. And she sent me a few more goodies. She says this is a four-piece bathroom set. So we have, like, the little tray here. And then we have some other items in, in this little baggie. We have this which looks like a pen wow this is so cute that is so cute 
And we have these little earrings. These are so cute. Little sparkly green eardrops. Those are fun. And we have, oh, a little figurine. <laughs> so cute. And a little box. Let's see if I can open it. Wait, I don't know if I'm supposed to open it. I feel like I am though. Yeah, a little box with like red and green, the Christmassy colors. This is so cute. Thank you so, so much. I love, love, love it. Okay, next package here. Let's see what we got. Melanin Flames. Love your tape. So cute. Let's just pop it right here. And there's a box on the inside. Let's see. Open it from this side, I guess. Where is she? Watch out, baby. Mm. Okay, I'm going to need to cut the tape. Wow, this is so cute. I love the way this just opened up. Melanin Flames, thank you for this purchase. Candle Care and how to connect with them. Her Instagram is at Melanin Flames. And we have a little note. Hey Kayla, I'm super excited to finally give you some gifts for my business. I know I said this many times before, but I'm so proud of you, your home, your channel, your growth, and now your engagement. I'm so happy you're documenting these different life journey events. I have a few goodies for you and Marcus. I know you love a fresh, clean scent. So I have the chill out candle, which is eucalyptus and spearmint scent. For Marcus, I included one of our masculine scents, chocolate, which is a chocolate amber scent. I also included our five inch slim thick body candle in Go Lay Down, period. <laughs> Which is a lavender and vanilla scent. It is, it is a bit of a risque home decor piece. So if it isn't your style, definitely feel free to re-gift, LOL. Lastly, I have one mat, one, I, why can't I read? Lastly, I have one wax melt bar in the scent Fruity Tootie, which is a Fruit Loop scent. I hope you love all the guests. P.S. P.S. I am waiting for you and Marcus to start a rental business so I can have y'all. So I can have y'all for when I get my house. Melanin Flames, Ashley Glasser. Oh, thanks, Ashley. Y'all, me and Ashley went to high school together. Girl, you are so sweet. And this is so cute. Okay, so this is the Melanin Bar. I love how you did this, like everything. Oh my gosh, look at this, y'all. This is so creative. So these are wax melts, but it looks like a chocolate bar. Marshmallow, this isn't for you, baby. <laughs> She's trying to get some. I feel like that is so sweet. I mean, not sweet, like it's just so cute and clever. Okay, and then we have the scent Chill Out, which I believe this one is for me. Oh, it smells so good. And I love the type of wig you use. Those are have become like my favorite ones. This smells amazing. Crackling wood wig. Smells like sit some wine and relax your mind. Period. So cute. And then we have one more for Marcus. Choco lit. 
smells like dang it feels good to be black oh let's see oh i love this one too hmm. so amazing i love the coloring in your candles so gorgeous y'all check her out check her out at melanin flames on instagram and we have one more thing omg y'all these sculptures this is so cute this is so cute let me open it this is gorgeous girl you did your thing on this no marshy <laughs> marshmallow you cannot this is so cute I love this sculpture. Y'all look at this. This is okay, let me hold it like that. Y'all look at this sculpture. This is so cute, you guys. So cute. Thank you so much. I am going to put all of it to good use. Alright, y'all, we just have one more left. Okay, we have one more left. And it says it's from Ella B. Jenkins, you guys. Here it is right here. And you guys know that she sent me some stuff before. So I guess she's sending me some more items. My class, like they adore, I mean adore her doll. The Ella doll. So let's see. See, let's see what we got, what we got, what we got. This thing is packed. Okay. Marshmallow back. Hey guys, this is what I see right now. And we have Ella B. Aww. Okay, so it looks like she sent me a handbag, a little tote tote, with a whole bunch of masks. Oh my gosh, my students are gonna love these. Thank you so much. And keychains. Let me see if I have enough for everybody. I have 12 students right now. If not, at the end of the year in our party, we'll play bingo and these will be the prizes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, there's ten, but that's okay. These will definitely be some good bingo prizes for them. Air, they could choose between a mask. Wow. She sent me. Ella B. Jenkins meets Barack Obama books. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love this. This is so cute. And she sent me several of them. Four of these. And then the next book we got was Ella B. Jenkins meets First Lady Michelle Obama. Oh, and it looks like this. Oh, that's so cute. I love it. And then she sent me some hard, one hardback book 
called Ella B. Jenkins meets Vice President Kamala Harris. Aww. I love this. Dear Kayla, keep being the amazing teacher that you are. The world needs more educators just like you. Warmly, Eve and the Ella B. Jenkins team. Thank you so much. This is so awesome. Oh my goodness, this is so awesome. Wow, thank you. And then she sent me four of those of that book in a paper version. But that's not all, y'all. That's not all. There's a note and a card. Oh, and some stickers in here and a thank you. Y'all, how sweet is this? This is so sweet. And it looks like we have an Ella B. Jenkins apron. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, oh my goodness. I love it. You guys, it's a pink Ella B. Jenkins hoodie that is so cute thank you so much this is beyond thoughtful and i know my students are gonna love all of these things like from the books to the mask and the keychains and this cute bag oh i have all the lb jenkins swag and i'm so happy thank you so much e. Thank you guys so much for clicking and watching today's video. I hope you really enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Yeah, no time. You're the traveling kind. It's a no